It's interesting, isn't it, that a lot of people still don't really <coughs> think about how their behaviour affects others. It's not something we're taught at school. We're taught how to read, how to write. Where does speaking come in? A lot of people have jobs, have careers, where their primary uh, form of communication is the spoken word. Now, Aristotle, 2300 years ago, talked about two things. He talked about empathy and sincerity. So when we combine empathy and sincerity, we get persuasion. When do I need to persuade people? The answer is all the time. All the time. Whenever you're getting rapport with people, you're bringing them over to your way of thinking. She was very good, uh, very interactive and um, very positive and inspirational. When you're communicating with someone else, obviously you need to be aware of what's going on with them. It's about being perceptive. But the first step is to be aware of how you're feeling because how you're feeling has an impact on how everyone else perceives you. And this is because it will show in your physiology, in your facial expressions. So if, for instance, you were on the phone to a, a customer and they said, I'm so annoyed. You could say, I'm so sorry. You see what I mean? So you're mirroring their emotion, their level of emotion, only yours is on a different plane. So they're angry, you're really at, just as apologetic as they are angry. And this is such a useful technique. With your language and your vocal tone, you, you move them from here to here, so you match them energetically and then you start, you can start to calm, 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 and then they come with you. I thought it was going to be, I was going to get really nervous and stutter and not know what to say, but everyone makes everyone feel very comfortable and all the positive thinking helps. I felt suddenly felt a bit irritated, like, like she sounded too chirpy. So, uh, something so simple, isn't it? So, I would feel better if you could be a little uh, more authoritative when you answer the phone. So we'll work on this afterwards, okay? And you started to use the idea of, well, resolve it. You said problem once, and then you corrected yourself. So you were also thinking about language, which I was, which I was really impressed about, because this is a lot to think about. So very good, well done. The most important thing for me today was learning to emotionally detach myself from customers' problems. Um, I don't have an issue talking to customers on the phone, but I do have an issue with carrying their problem with me, so um, we do some visualisation techniques which I think will be very useful for me. And a lot of the time we have goals, but we have limiting beliefs, so we never reach our goals. Because of these roadblocks that we construct in our minds, that quite often are irrational, we never, we never reach them. I love Fran. I love Fran. She's um, very, she's got so much knowledge that other people, people can take a lot of knowledge from her and she makes you feel good about yourself and she makes you believe in yourself and that you can do anything to change your mindset which I think it's you get used to sticking in a pattern where you think negative thoughts and then um, you just change your mindset and she can do that with her voice so something about her voice gives my, my brain goosebumps <laughs>